One of the features of Remotely Possible is that you can use it, to, use it to control any application that you have installed on your PC. So for example, let's say that we wanted to use Remotely Possible to control Notepad. So let's start Notepad up here and go over to Remotely Possible. We're going to configure a new application profile, profile specifically for Notepad. We'll go File, New, choose a program and pick Notepad. From here, we can go into the iPhone mappings and tell Remotely Possible what we want to control within Notepad. So for example, if we go to Notepad, we see there's an option to print under File, and the menu here tells us that Control P is the same as selecting File Print. So we'll go over here to our Remotely Possible settings and we'll say, if I tap or double tap, uh, we're going to print. So we're going to say that's the same as Control and P. So we'll say OK to save the settings. Now let's go back to Notepad. Now before I print, I want to type something in. And a nice feature of Remotely Possible is that you actually have a keyboard available to you. So if you go to the Buttons option, uh, one of the panels here is the keyboard. So we'll choose Keyboard, and from here, we actually can type into, the, into Notepad. Now, if we want to print, we, we configured it so that a double tap would tell it to print. So let's go back to our Gestures and double tap, and the print dialog comes up. Once you have your custom settings saved for an application like Notepad, you may want to save those settings so that you can use them later or perhaps even use them on another computer. To do this, you select the icon within Remotely Possible and then choose File, Export, and pick a file name and a folder and save it. So you can see this actually created a file here on our desktop called notepad.atprofile. So in the future, if I were to delete the Notepad at profile from remotely possible, like so. I can always re-import it by choosing File, Import, or simply double-clicking to restore the settings for Notepad.